you know what? When we're nice and young, we're up here and suddenly we're down here. Oh no. Okay. Let's talk about your boobs. <laughs> Hey, Coach Ashley here. Yes, we are talking about this area of your body, your chest, your boobs, whatever you like to call it. We're gonna get into it today and we're gonna do it with kettlebells. But first, I'm gonna give you guys something just for hanging out with me for the next uh, like five minutes. I'm gonna give you guys some free sliders. All right, sliders are awesome because one, they're compact. You can literally put them anywhere, put them in your purse, put them in your gym bag, do whatever you need to do with them. And you can do a full body workout on these sliders. All right, if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my other videos. I have tons of videos on sliders alone, but check out that pinned comment below Grab your free sliders. Literally, it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. They're here for you. Let's go ahead and get started. So kettlebells, they're all the rage right now, right? Everybody loves working with kettlebells. I think one, because maybe people just want to change it up. They want something different. So with that said, I decided to do a chest workout with kettlebells. I'm gonna give you guys three different exercises that you may or may not be doing with a kettlebell, and it could be a challenge. You can obviously add this as a challenge to the end of your chest day, or uh, one of them actually is a muscle building movement. All right, so we're gonna go into a single arm push-up with the kettlebell. Starting with it, I am going to, here's the deal, guys. As you guys know, the heavier the kettlebell, the bigger the bell. So if we're going single arm push-up on the kettlebell, Obviously, this one's closer to the ground. It's gonna be more of a push-up style. It's just gonna give you a little bit. So if you're just starting, maybe your chest isn't as strong as you would like it to be, you're probably not gonna go for the bigger bell. The weight doesn't matter per se, because we're not lifting it, but the weight does matter as far as the lift off of the ground and how far you're gonna be taking that single arm up off the ground and really getting that full extension. So with that said, I'm actually gonna go, because I do do these fairly frequently, I'm gonna go with the bigger bell. All right, this is a 35 pound kettlebell and you wanna place that bell down. You wanna make sure it's nice and secure. On the single arm chest press, we're gonna take those arms just as your normal push up position right off to the side and our elbows still bend at a 45 degree angle. And as we come down, notice the difference between the shoulders, right? I'm getting a nice deep squeeze with that right arm. Obviously the option, take it down to the knees, but we're focusing on that nice depth and range of motion in one side of the arm. Obviously working one side, shifting the bell over to the other side. And again, if you are just starting, obviously this is significantly higher off the ground than a 25 pound kettlebell would be. All right, my next movement for you, this one's gonna be a challenge for you, but we're gonna go, we're gonna take that same bell and we're gonna go into, <sighs> could be close grip, but we're gonna go almost into that triangle push up. All right, so coming up off of that ground, we're gonna keep those hips nice and low. Remember, we're not going high. The bell is directly underneath your chest. It is not on your face because you don't wanna do that shoulder push-up. Check out Form 101 on the push-ups. I walk you guys through that, how we don't do face push-ups. So we're gonna come here and we're gonna go single bell push-up. We're gonna take it just below the chest and we're pushing right back up. Again, nice and low. Option to take down to the knees and push right back up keeping your core nice and tight. The push-up, obviously I just gave you two push-ups back to back. Ladies, if you're not doing your push-up, it is a very athletic movement. You're gonna require your full body to be able to do your push-up. You have to engage the glutes, you have to engage the core as you're working that chest. So if you're not doing push-ups, you need to be doing push-ups. There's a reason why you start doing them when you're in like PE, okay? So last and final movement is gonna be our strength building movement today. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna grab two kettlebells and we're gonna go into the kettlebell chest press. So I'm gonna do this from the ground. You can do it from a bench or the ground. We're gonna take those kettlebells up. Think about kettlebells, guys, is your knuckles should be facing the side. Do not allow the wrist to fall. You wanna rotate those wrists in. If you do have any sort of a watch, I'm gonna encourage you to flip that in. This is my whoop, I'm gonna flip that in so that when I protect them, my knuckles are facing the sky. I'm breaking those elbows 45 degrees. And again, I'm pressing above the chest. Nowhere near the face, we're here. Nice big chest press. Keeping those knuckles to the sky, keeping the wrist engaged. You never want to allow that bell to hang. You want to rotate it in as you press up above the chest. Go ahead, add those to your routine. We love kettlebells. You can do full body with your kettlebell movement. I do have significantly more videos on the kettlebells alone. Go ahead, check it out. Work the chest out, bring the chest right back up here where it belongs and 
Get your free sliders, guys. All right. Thanks, Steve, for that. Yes, free sliders. Do not forget about it in the pinned comment below. I'll catch you guys here next time.